Okay, so you found an article and the really good news is at this point, your research becomes a lot easier. And that's for a few reasons. When you find an article that feels suitable to your research needs, I generally look at the keywords that are associated with the article and the subject terms as well. And if there's anything in here that I think would help me find more research, I go ahead and make note of any corresponding keywords that I can use later. And in this case, transgender people on television is actually a subject term. This is really valuable in Academic Search Premier because it means I can click on this, this subject term. And having done so, we actually get 44 papers that all include this exact subject. And that might save me an immense amount of time. So let's go back now. The other thing that, that, that makes this helpful, I can look at cited reference. So these are all the different times that this paper cited other papers that are also included in the database. And I can look through these as well, and I can see if any of these papers fit my research needs. The assumption is that they probably can because they align with the sort of research goals of the original paper. And, and just to be clear, this is one of the most important reasons why we cite our sources, not necessarily because of plagiarism, but really because we're trying to create a paper trail of information that lasts over an incredibly long period of time and allows researchers to go backwards and forwards and look at how information and ideas develop across history. The final thing that I would recommend doing once you've found a paper is go ahead and cite your source and you can choose your formatting. And in this class, you want MLA formatting. I would take this and I would copy it to the clipboard and paste it. But I would, the way I would, I would go about doing so is I would go ahead and create an email and then you're going to go ahead and send an email to yourself. And I would actually paste the citation in the email comments. This, this ensures for you that, that you all have both your paper as well as your citation, which you can then use and integrate directly into your paper. Uh, this, this will save you a lot of time in the end. And one thing I really strongly recommend is do not try to read these papers as you find them. Go ahead and do all of your research first and then come back and read the emails that you sent yourself. The reason I say that is because these papers are generally quite lengthy and they're full of jargon and very difficult information to process. You'll wear yourself out in no time if you try going through them one by one. So do everything in chunks instead. One last thing you can do is go ahead and select either PDF or HTML full text. And if you have a printer handy, you could actually print your research right now and have it for later. It really depends on what works best for you. And once your paper loads, you can click print and then you can select MLA format, print your paper, and you have it handily printed then and there. And now that we've finished finding our first paper in Academic Search Premier, we're going to go ahead and look at US Major Dailies next.